I just wanted to do a quick demo here of how to do a Dalek voice effect in Adobe Audition. Audition. Uh, just because when I looked briefly, there really don't seem to be any good videos on doing it in Audition. Uh, plenty in Audacity, but the only Audition video I could find was not really very good, so not a difficult thing to do, so I just wanted to get a good video on how to do it out there. Uh, start off just Create your new audio file with whatever audio you want. Now, no matter how good your filtering is, a lot of the Dalek voice is just acting it well, getting the inflection, the rhythm of it correct. Uh, I probably won't do that perfectly, but I'll do my best. The doctor's gender is irrelevant. She is to be exterminated. I'll play that back here in Audition so you can hear what my PC actually captured. The doctor's gender is irrelevant. She is to be exterminated. So, I'll just trim a little bit of the excess here. Now, all the Dalek voice is... The classic Dalek voice was done with a piece of analog equipment called a ring modulator, and all it really did was use circuitry to effectively multiply the input by a sine wave. That's really all it is. Uh, you can do that simply enough in Audition here. Uh, all you would need to do is create a separate audio file. Uh, your original will be kept open by Audition here. Uh, go into Effects, Generate Tones. Uh, you'll want to set it up like this. Uh, by default, a lot of these other Tone generators are turned on. You want only a single tone turned on. You want the frequency to be something very low, around 20 hertz or so. Seems to work very well. Uh, make sure this is a sine wave. Make sure you're not set to sweep or anything. And I think that should be all you really need to do. Uh, if you play this, you probably won't hear anything because it's way too low, so don't bother trying. But you generate that, and you should get something that looks kind of like this. If you zoom in, it's obviously a very slow sine wave. So all you need to do is copy this, then the little menu icon up there in the tabs will let you switch back to your original audio. Uh, select all, and then under edit, choose mix paste. In this dialog, make sure that you select Modulate. And I think that's all. Uh, if your tone was shorter than your recorded clip, make sure you have Loop Paste turned on. That will repeat the sine wave multiple times over your original clip. And all this will do is multiply your recording by that sine wave. The doctor's gender is irrelevant. She is to be exterminated. The doctor's gender is irrelevant. And just by doing that, you get a pretty reasonable beginning of a Dalek voice. Uh, there's certainly more you can do. You can pre-filter it with distortion and maybe some equaliz equalizer. You can probably reverb it afterwards or something. I'll leave tweaking those settings as an exercise to the reader. That modulate mix paste operation in Audition is really the core of the effect and really all you need to do. So I hope that's helpful. Good night.